Ever wondered how a massive submarine can dive deep or rise back up, almost like it's defying the rules of nature? The answer is pure science, Archimedes' principle. Picture this, a ship floats because it pushes aside or displaces a volume of water. That weighs as much as the ship itself. But a submarine, it takes that idea and puts it on steroids. Here's how it works. Submarines are built with special tanks called ballast tanks. These tanks can be filled with air. These tanks can be filled with water. When the crew wants to dive, they let water rush into the tanks, making the sub heavier than the water around it. That extra weight? It's just enough to start sinking. To resurface, they blast out the water with compressed air stored on board. Suddenly the sub gets lighter. Buoyancy takes over and it rises. But there's more. Submarines aren't just floating soda cans. They're engineering marvels. Their bodies are rounded. Their bodies are double-walled to handle insane deep ocean pressure. Steering comes from tweaking ballast tanks, adding water to tilt and sink, removing water or adding air to tilt and rise. The sub glides silently through the depths. Divers actually use a similar trick. Weight belts help divers sink. Wetsuits try to float. Weight belts counteract that. Divers inflate special vests with gas to come up. Think of it as a personal submarine system. So next time you see a submarine or a diver gliding under the waves, remember, Archimedes' principle is the real MVP. If you found this mind-blowing, hit that like button and subscribe for more science that goes deep. Dive in with me. Let's keep exploring.